All right, so I just want to give you guys a glimpse into what uh, a typical evening is like. So I get home from work. Um, it's it's really hard. The, the camera's not picking it up, but it's really dark out here. Um, it's actually doing a, a really good job of picking up the light. One of the things we need to do is we've got to constantly be checking the water. And um, it's getting cold out. We're getting ice. And one of the unique things about our farm is we don't have heated drinkers. Um, so we have to do, you know, we have stock tanks like you see behind me, and we have to run extension cords and hoses. Um, we run hoses to fill up the stock tanks. We have to run extension cords in the winter to drop the, um, to drop the tank heaters in there and, and power them up, um, you know, so that we don't get the tanks all iced up, um, you know. So it's uh, a typical night, you know, we could spend easily an hour out here in the winter just taking care of water because at the end of the day, we've got to grab all these hoses that we string out and we've got to roll them back up. We got to put them in the garage where it's warm so that they don't get iced up so that the following day we can come back out and we can unroll them all, put them back on the hydrant and start filling tanks again. So um, that's kind of a quick glimpse into, you know, just a, a normal average day in the winter. We don't have any snow yet, but um, things are icing over the hydrant um, that we have freezes up and so we have to put heat tape on that even though it's supposed to be a frost free hydrant because we've got such heavy clay here the water doesn't drain out of it like it's supposed to it drains out and then it just sits in the bottom of the trench um, and so then it doesn't allow the hydrant to totally empty out and the steel pipe gets frozen over as well so um, that's just a normal battle that, uh, that we have every year. So, um, that's just a quick look into a typical evening. Um, and that doesn't even include putting out hay bales and, um, and feeding. They've all been fed. They've got, uh, we put round bales out last night, um, or yesterday afternoon cause it was a Sunday. So we put them out in the afternoon so we didn't have to do it after work in the dark. Um, but this week, because they do go through so much hay, we will end up having to put hay out in the dark. So maybe we'll get some video of that as well. Morning. Just wanted to give you another idea of what it's like here on our day to day. Um, it's 5 a.m. I'm, uh, I'm getting ready for work. So in the winter time, um, one of the things that we need to do is feed the wood stove. We have to feed the wood stove twice a day, once in the morning before I leave for work, once in the afternoon or the evening when I get home from work. So my day starts pretty early. You know, we're up around 4, 4.30ish to get showered and everything, get ready for the day. Um, and then to, you know, come out, feed the wood stove, check the livestock. Um, one of the things that happened last night that uh, I didn't get to share with you was we ended up having something got into the barn and um, we had a chicken that I found that was dead and then another one that had been mortally wounded by a predator. We don't know what it is, um, but what I will share with you is that um, we did put in a live trap, so hopefully we can catch it. So if I can get the light to hold up here, All right, so down there we've got a live trap set and I think that's where the predator was going in and out of. Um, so hopefully, <clears throat> hopefully we'll be able to catch it and uh, get it taken care of and end our chicken massacres for now. So, but that's just a typical morning. So I just wanted to share it with you guys and 
you know, like I said last night, thanks for watching. Quick follow up to our trap and um, trying to catch the varmint that's been killing our chickens. We caught something in the trap. And I don't think it's what's been killing our chickens. These gals are not supposed to be in here. But the good news is, but the good news is, we don't have any more dead chickens. So we got that going for us. We'll just empty the trap back out and <laughs> hope for, uh, maybe we'll get something tomorrow. Well, I wanted to give you an update on the tractor and it fit. So I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, well, of course it fit. Um, one of the things that I should let you know about is that when I did all the measurements, I measured everything but one thing. And that one thing was right there, the bucket. So I had the hay spear or the round bale spear on there when I took all the measurements. And it wasn't until I had the bucket on that I realized after the container was here that, holy cow, the bucket might be too wide. Because you can see the bucket's quite a bit wider than the wheelbase of the tractor. So um, there's literally only probably about three inches, maybe four inches, um, but it's, it's probably closer to three inches on each side of the bucket between the bu sidewall of the, the bucket and the sidewall of the container. So it was tight. But to answer your question, it did fit. So we're pretty excited about that and uh, we're happy to have a place to park our tractor and keep it out of the weather until we get a new barn built.